Hello everyone. Today we move to graphs and the trees algorithms and we start with traversal or searching algorithms. There are two uh, standard graph and the tree searching algorithms. Depth per search and breadth per search. In depth per search, as it is obvious from the name, the node branch is explored as far as possible before being forced to backtrack and expand other nodes. While in a breadth per search, all the node neighbors are explored at the present depth prior to moving on the nodes at the next depth level. Usually, uh, it's easier to implement depth first search using stack and breadth first search using a queue. Here we have uh, an example. Here is our graph, and we are asked to conduct a depth first search of the graph starting from point D. Here is the visited array. When we visit a node, we mark on it. Here is the order nodes are visited. And here is the stack. The general rule uh, is visit, mark, and push. Uh, if we reach a point that the node has no neighbors, then we pop it from the stack and continue. Uh, when the stack is, is uh, empty, we are done. Or we can use another condition when all the nodes are visited. We start with D. We visit D. We list it on the uh, visited list and we mark next we explore point uh, nodes neighbors to d we have here two nodes c or and e we can go to c or to e suppose we select c so we visit c we mark on c yeah and we push on the stack. Here we have C. Next, we haven't any nodes uh, adjacent to C. So we pop C. Now, on the stack, we have D here. We explore nodes uh, adjacent to D one node we have E. So we add E to the visited list and mark on E and push it into the stack. Next, we have only one node uh, adjacent to E, which is G. We visit G, mark on it, and push it on the stack. We have one node adjacent to G, H. We visit H, mark on it, as you see, and we push it on the stack. Now, we have only B adjacent to A, so we visit B, mark on it, and push it into the stack. As you see, no nodes are adjacent to B, so we pop B from the stack. And here, the top now is A. No nodes are adjacent to A, not visited. B is adjacent, but B is already marked and visited. All the uh, nodes 
adjacent to H, A, and B are visited. So we pop H from the stack. Now we have at the top of the stack G, all nodes uh, adjacent to G are visited. Uh, so we pop it. Now we have at the at the top of the stack E. Also, all nodes are visited, so we pop it again. Now we have only D on the stack. Are there any adjacent node nodes to D not visited? Yes, there is one F. So we add it to the list. We mark it and we push it into the stack. No nodes adjacent to F not visited. Do you see uh, C is adjacent to F, but C is already included in the visited array. So we pop F. Now we haven't any adjacent nodes to D. We pop D since the stack is null, all the nodes are visited. And really, you can see uh, all the nodes are marked here. And this is the order uh, of visiting nodes according to depth per search uh, algorithm. Here is the algorithm. I think it's now easy for you to understand. Visit mark and push V while stack is uh, not empty, uh, while there is an unmarked vertex W adjacent to top of the stack, do visit mark and push. We loop while the stack is not empty. At the end, uh, we will visit all the nodes in the stack. As you see, time complexity of uh, depth first search is big O V plus E. There are different applications of depth, depth first search. For a weighted graph, depth first search traversal of the graph produces the minimum spanning tree. Detecting cycles in the graph, we have a backtrack in the depth first search, then the graph uh, has cycles. Uh, in topological sort, pathfinding, finding strongly connected components of, of a graph. Next, breadth first search, graph traversal. As I mentioned, breadth first search is an algorithm used for searching or uh, traversing graphs and the trees as well. And in the trees, it's known as level traversal algorithm. Uh, on a graph, it starts from a, a given node, sometimes referred to as a search key, and explores all of the neighbor nodes at the present depth before moving on to the nodes at the next depth level. Uh, it's uh, opposite uh, strategy to depth per search. Uh, you remember on depth per search, uh, we explore the node uh, branch as far as possible before being forced to backtrack and expand other nodes. On depth per search, we used uh, stack to implement the uh, traversal. Uh, in breadth per search, we use uh, Q. Here is an example. Uh, suppose we are asked uh, to traverse the graph starting from the node D. Here we have the nodes visited. We we mark on the visited nodes. Here the queue contents and the list of uh, visited nodes are on the 
bottom. We first in QD. D now is not visited. We DQD and visit D here and in Q all the nodes adjacent to D. Here we have uh, nodes C, E, F adjacent to D. We mark on them as you see here on D as well. Now we start with C. We haven't any nodes adjacent to C. So we visit C and DQ it uh, on the QE. We DQ E, visit E here uh, to the nodes visited, and insert all the nodes adjacent to E. We have only one node. Gs. So here is the Q. We have on the Q F and G. And we again mark on uh, G. Next F, since we haven't any notes adjacent to F, I'm visited. Do you see? C is adjacent to F, but C is already visited. Uh, so we DQ F. Now we have only G in the Q. We uh, DQ G here. And insert all the nodes adjacent to G. Here is one node, H and mark on it. Next, we DQ H, visit it here, and insert the notes adjacent to H. We have two notes, A and B. So we mark on them A and B here. In the queue now we have A and B. We the queue A visit A any queue all the nodes adjacent to A and we have only B adjacent to A but B is already marked. Now we have only B in the queue. We DQB visit it, list it, and we haven't any nodes uh, unvisited adjacent to B. So after uh, DQing it, the Q will be empty null, and all the nodes are visited. So, so according to per search, the uh, nodes were visited uh, according to this sequence, D, C, E, F, G, H, A, B. Now I think it's very easy for you to follow the procedure uh, for the breadth per search. The time complexity, uh, big O is V plus E. Next, regarding tree traversal, we have the two strategies, depth first search uh, traversal and breadth first or level traversal. Do you see on breadth first search, we traverse levels one, two, three, four, five. But on depth first uh, traversal, we have three uh, ways in order, left, root, right, Pre-order, root, left, right, and post-order, left, right, root. For example, in, in order, left, root, right, we have to do that recursively. We go 
from one left. Uh, it's wrong to write two because again recursively we have to apply uh, left to node two, left to it four, root two, then five. Back we have one root and right three. Uh, on pre-order root left right, so one two four five three and uh, on post order left right and root is the last so four four five two three one time complexity uh, is big o n the space complexity book o is one uh, if we do not consider uh, the stack recursion calls. If we consider uh, the stack space required, then a big O uh, of N space is required. The N order algorithm, left, root, right, until all nodes are traversed, recursively traverse left subtree, visit root node, and recursively traverse right subtree. Again, here's another example. This is the uh, sequence according to uh, in order traversal. Here is the pre-order algorithm, root, left, right. Visit root, recursively traverse left subtree, and then recursively traverse right subtree. In this example, we start with the root one, then we recursively uh, traverse left subtree here. Again, root two, then left, right, four, five. Three, root, six, seven. And in post order algorithm, left right root we recursively traverse left subtree recursively traverse right subtree and then visit the root it's easy for you to uh, see the sequence four five two six seven three one according to post order traversal thank you